there is something in this lunchbox looking bag that I want to talk about today. I was also carrying this bag around in 3D base camp so you can either click here or find the link in the description if you want to watch it. And let me show you what's in the bag. First is the VR headset and the second one is the 3D mouse. So it is just contained in here. I can nicely carry it without damaging it. But let me just put it back since I want to talk about VR mainly today. I actually did a unboxing as well as initial setup of this headset in the previous video right here or the link in the description. However, I wanted to do a bit in-depth review video as well as explaining you guys why I vote for this headset as the best architectural VR headset that is available in the market. First of all, I do understand it can be kind of confusing since there's a lot of VR headsets that are out there and the names are not that easy. And this one is not either. And it is just kind of written here and it is just called HP Windows Mixed Reality Headset. There are many reasons why I think this one is the best one out of the pack. However, let me just bring up three most important reasons. And the reason number one is, let's say, economical. I have checked my receipt and I have paid about $230 for this unit which includes the controller and this headset and the cables that comes with it. So the headset that I purchased was this one, however if you were to opt in for a certified refurbished model it is actually hovering around $180 bucks, which is a lot cheaper and you would definitely be getting the same package that I have received and it is definitely better with $180 bucks price only and I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to purchase with the affiliated link. And this is, depending on the unit that you are purchasing, $100 or $200 cheaper than other ones. Let's say Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. And it is true, most of other mixed reality headsets are hovering similar prices or even cheaper. But I have other reasons for this specific one. So reason number two, this one is portable and easy to set up. Because this VR headset does not require a sensor to be set up, it is easy to carry around and you can set it up very quickly. And that's why I can carry around this set inside of tiny little bag with other stuff such as other cables and 3D mouse. And the other type of headsets which requires sensors, you have to go onto the site, make sure those sensors are calibrated correctly or somebody's covering those sensors, there's that issue. And those sensors need to be connected. So Oculus Rift, you need to connect to your computer via USBs. So it needs to be somewhat close to your computers. And HTC Vive, those need to be powered and connect to a wall at some point so there are more cables that's gonna run around and that can be a lot of hassle if you have a lot of people just running around tripping over the wires as well as the room layout is not prepared for the specific setup and you're running out of time then a lot of things can kind of go wrong and then the third reason is the look or the design and whilst number one and two is pretty much the same for any mixed reality headset, number three draws kind of difference between the pack. So all the mixed reality headsets share similar functionality and the price point. However, I like the look and the design of this one. In my honest opinion, some others are kind of geared towards gaming. So it's kind of flashy, colorful look. And I don't really want to use that in architectural presentation. I want to be a bit more professional looking at least I don't want to draw attention to the headset itself. I want people to focus on my design. And after all, you want to make sure you yourself or the client doesn't look too funny whilst wearing it. So those three are major reasons why I think this is the best one. And there are other tiny reasons why as well. I just want to make sure my money is well spent and I pay attention to those tiny little details. I'm a nitpicker. So call me that if you want. It is true. So you can actually put the headset up whilst you're wearing. This face gasket is removable. 
and it normally comes with a foamy material but if you purchase a business model it comes with the pseudo leathery material which is a lot easier to wash if multiple people are wearing this and also the fact that this doesn't have other accessories attached to it I don't like the fact that some of the headsets have the speaker or the headset itself attached to the hairband and I don't really need that for this specific VR presentation reasons and if you actually look at these controllers there are tiny little letters that are written on here R and L which is very helpful when I'm trying to help other people if I'm handing this controllers to other people I have had mix their hands before when this wasn't available so it's really nice touch that you have R and L written on here so I can kind of make sure I give them the correct one However, I have the biggest complaints regarding these controllers actually. So the fact that this one lights up when you turn it on and this kind of brings you back to the point of taking in the attention and because of these lights it's kind of flashy and people tend to focus on to the controllers it's a tiny little detail and I suppose you need that for the functionality of this because these work as a tracking mechanism for the headset and when you're just trying to carry it this doesn't really fold and I feel that this is a bit too flimsy and I don't really feel safe putting this in any bags because there is a lot of torque that can happen here and it can probably break easily what I usually end up doing is just overlap them like so and then put them into the bag inside of the headband so that it is somewhat secured. Maybe HP or other manufacturer can develop some carrying methods, a bag maybe or ways to fold these in the future and if you actually wonder what this blue tape is this one has a little clip to hold this however if this wire is too tight it kind of prevents it from going up like so so I just wanted to have a little bit of slack and this one just connects to the other cable that's included in the headset so I carry it like this and then attach when I am ready to use it and I know if you have tried other type of VR headsets you're a bit concerned about the accuracy and the quality of this headset specifically and it is true the accuracy kind of suffers the smoothness isn't as smooth in this specific headset most of all the mixed reality headsets will have lesser accuracy just because it is relying on these two cameras that are on the headset and it is noticeable however it doesn't really interfere the architectural viewing experience if you're playing games and it requires you to be very accurate because if you're trying to shoot shoot zombies down and trying to dodge bullets and those are very very important to be able to do so however in VR of architecture that's not really necessary at all and if you read the specs the quality is actually better on this specific headset because you have more pixels if you're just counting the pixels and then the viewing angle or the field of view is quite good as well however I do understand the concern for the screen itself it's LCD it is not OLED like like other headsets that are available it is still very immersive so in my opinion for the one that you take it to go and just do a short viewing experience for multiple people this just makes the best solution that is out there right now so those are my thoughts and opinions on this specific headset do you have your own favorite headset or perhaps you don't agree with some of the things I've said please leave that in the comment I would be happy to discuss with you guys and I would love to know if there is a better solution out there and thank you for watching if you have enjoyed the content please like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos and I'll see you next time bye